Welcome to the Chris Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Jonas, what the hell is this? America Sweethearts. America Sweethearts. <laughs> this guy's not even from America. America and British is Sweetheart. <laughs> I don't think he is either. I don't know, probably. I don't know. Well, people hate Logan Paul. I mean, you know, he, he's, he's earned some degree. Suicide of, Forest guy. He's earned some degree of it. What did people hit? Was that KSI you said? That's KSI. He, he's a crypto scammer? I mean, look, listen, listen. I didn't scum. I didn't scum, bruv. Isn't it? Is that what he said? <laughs> Are we playing five dates? I didn't scum, bruv, isn't it? And then we got Mr. Beast who's just, he just seems like he's a, a douche. I have, I, look, okay, so Mr. Beast gives me this feeling of a person who I just need to know more about you to make sure that you are genuine. He's done a lot of good, but I just need to make sure it's not from a place of malice of or faking it or yeah. Like, like Mr. Beast is a character and he's really just a giant dick. Yeah. I can look at the other two guys and I can tell that they are human beings. Mr. Beast's perception is not that of a human being. These guys have flaws. I actually respect them more because of their flaws. All right. Mr. Beast is just like perfect. He's too perfect. He's like, he's like, I, like I could picture him being Homelander, like sitting in a tower full of other super powerful influencers and just threatening their lives at all costs. Like, Hey, what's going on? Yeah, you're getting a little fat. <laughs> Yummers. Wow. Clean it up. Damn. I could, man. I could. I'm well, like, maybe, I don't know. Th maybe this is his thing, then. This is his downfall. <laughs> so, way. these three Americas and British sweethearts have decided to take on Lunchables. An American staple, mind you. Have fun. So, have fun for lunch. I went to the website. It's like, it says, uh, they have a website. Yeah. Leave no crumbs. Brother, it says I'm brought to you by website. the creators at leave no crumbs. It's time to grab them and go get them. It says you can get the pizza, the turkey stackums, which is cheese, turkey and crackers or fiesta nachos. Hell yeah. So <gasps> here's the thing. Yeah, boy. Here's the thing. These three guys have a lot of influence with kids they because do. they're famous YouTubers. They do. And they are, they are pushing a lunch that comes with an energy drink, a candy bar. It's a low sugar candy bar. And then and I don't think processed Prime, ass. Prime hasn't had sugar either, does it? Pizza, crackers, or nachos. Yep. And mind you, Logan Paul is behind Prime, and Mr. Beast is behind, behind the candy the bar. The candy what, bar. What, what is a uh, KSI <laughs> sell pizza and tacos or nachos or whatever? Like, um, that feels racially driven, but no, he does not. <laughs> what like, what is he, an Italian, Mexican, <laughs> Spaniard? I don't so, know. So, dude, I and, and they've got a lot of backlash for this online. Because you're out here that much influence and you're going to sell literal trash to children and try to say it's a healthy lunch alternative to Lunchables. Uh, brother, I don't know, man. It seems to me as these guys are known for trying to make money. Right? <laughs> really? Yes. They yeah. Are, they dip their toe into anything to try to get a buck. Yeah, I saw their new tampons coming out. Logan Paul hit it off with the Prime thing because the itch is selling off the shelves. Well, and, he, and now he's a wrestler, so they're they're broadcasting it on WWE like and, crazy, yeah. too. So brand recognition, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I've heard of Prime. I've never tasted a drop I of it. I would never taste a drop of that. <laughs> You will never I'll put my buy lips. one and throw it in the trash. No, <laughs> say, say I'll just dump it out in the convenience store and put it on the counter and say something happened to this. <laughs> That's a good idea, Jonas. You should do that worldwide. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm live I'm on YouTube Live. All right, and Mr. Mr. Beast found success in the uh, in the feastables way better than the the burgers, which were kind of like you know a little sketchy depending on where you got them. Here's my thing. Though, KSI man. made millions of dollars on in, crypto scams. Oh, uh, scam! I've done scam, bro. It. <laughs> so, here's my thing, though. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're a famous influencer and you have a huge children following, mm -hmm. why are you trying to put out a burger joint or a candy bar in the first place? Why don't you do something that like helps promote the youth to not be obese? Because uh, you don't make money off of those initiatives, Jonas. Oh, uh, so you're saying it's not sincere. Burgers sell. Candy bars sell. Energy drinks sell. 
Yeah. Yeah. All you got to do is put your name on it. Like, look, I don't know what to tell you. If you're looking for, you know, he, let he without sin cast a first stone, Jonas. I don't know what to tell you. America I, is known for this type of predatory capitalism. This is what our entire country is built on. It's selling us the worst things and then telling us it's pissing on our leg and telling us it's raining. <laughs> oh, thanks. I mean, you're not wrong. They're like, cigarettes, those aren't bad for you. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, that's essentially that all over again alcohol was so bad for you at the beginning they they outlawed it yeah now let's go right again you can just yeah, have it but don't smoke the reefer don't ne never that oh wait we can monetize that yeah go oh, ahead reefer, yeah that's good yeah do that too yeah, yeah. dude it's, uh, it's it's very much but it, it's it's uh, it's just you know what if they came to us and they were like crazy town podcast oh my god you have you have struck it rich on the internet, and we want you to slang our hole in them condoms. Every one of them. Hole in them condoms? <laughs> Every single Wait one. Wait a minute. <laughs> what are these like? These are like condoms you get at like uh, Spencer's? Every condom has a <laughs> hole in it. <laughs> Spencer's condoms? Spencer's gifts condoms? <laughs> I think, they're oh, trick I think it's illegal to sell. Fool, but fool your partner. Fool your par and they're oh like, my God. but TNT, we'll give you $200 million to tell everybody that these are the best condoms on earth. And you ain't getting anybody pregnant. I mean, look, I'll just, I'll, at the, at the end of the day, I'll be like, the <laughs> I'll be swimming in my money. The apology video would go off, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm no, really but, sorry. I'm uh, going to be donating ten million dollars to the local. On a more serious idiot. note, though, like if I feel like if if anything ever happened where like our channel blew up, mm. I would have a hard time sponsoring something that I knew was just like awful for kids or the environment or. But if it was the only thing offering you money and it was the first one, it's like, that's a, but there, but in their cases, it's not the first one. So they should know better. No, but like I said, the whole food thing is, is with the whole Mr. Beast and, uh, Logan Paul, I could see prime, a, a candy bar and a, and an energy drink. Okay. That makes sense. Like they sound good together. Um, I don't know how KSI really fits into it. Um, but you know, he's. They have animal crackers inside there, too, from a zoo, crypto zoo. <laughs> Stop it. They don't. Hey, that would be hilarious, though. <laughs> <laughs> if they had, like, little Bitcoin crackers. <laughs> Bitcoin crack. No, yeah, exactly. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I don't know how he fits into it. But I guess just face, well, brand so they can sell recognition. Well, too. Yeah. Like, they, they're like, how can we sell this overseas? Ah, we'll put a... Now, see, like, on paper doesn't sound bad. Like, as, when it's being pitched to you in, like, in, like, the elevator, and they got the three guys, and they're like, look, I think you guys get together Lunchables. We take them on. They're out of date. We don't need Lunchables anymore. We need Lunchly. Your prime, your candy, and your face on the box. <laughs> this sounds great. Along with the most processed-ass foods and nothing green. We're going to make healthy food for all the kids. We're going to process the hell out of it. <laughs> One of them probably goes, how is that healthy? Like, Don't worry about that. It's healthy. <laughs> it's under 400 calories. Promise. <laughs> In the candy bar alone, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, look, you you got to sell them somehow. So I can't see them any anything wrong with them packaging it. I'm just hoping that the consumer is smarter. Ha! I don't see anything. the smart consumer. What an oxymoron that is. I don't see anything wrong with it being a thing. What do you see? Something wrong with selling holy condoms if people are dumb enough to use them? I do. And I see, okay, so look, if you're asking me to judge them as far as, uh, what do you call that, as influencers and them taking advantage of their community, um, there's the allegations came out about Mr. Beast and the mistreatment that was happening on the set of his uh, Squid Game-like show. Uh, when, a major, when a major company does it like a Netflix, when they do it, they have the money to take care of all the people who are involved in production. Mr. Beast was running it a little bit less, you know, loosey goosey than they were. And there were some people that had some serious uh, concerns and, and injuries and, stuff and injuries. So, yeah, yeah. Um, KSI has obviously already kind of been alleged of a fleece in this community for the crypto scam. And Logan uh, Paul is just a piece of trash. And yeah, I mean, you know, I don't understand why anybody likes Logan Paul. 
It hates. I, I hate it so much that I, he's like actually I, good at wrestling. Like, <laughs> I like. I mean, I don't watch wrestling, so I'm, I'm like, absolved of even that. It's like it's like one of those things where like people watch his brother fight, so he gets knocked the f out, and he like actually knocks out people. Mm. It's the same thing. Like you just watch. You like, oh, I just want to see him get his ass kicked, and you're like, this man is actually decent at this, and it's like this is stupid. Like it's it's. Uh, who yeah. you got in the Mike Tyson Jake Paul fight? By the way, Mike Tyson Jake Paul. Yeah, is that happening? It's still? happening in a couple weeks. I thought they canceled it because well, Mike they Tyson had it. issues. Oh, okay. Uh, I got, I got Paul. No, it's gonna be a tie draw. It's gonna be a tie draw. It, what was the Mayweather one? Mayweather, who he didn't fight Mayweather. Who fought Mayweather? Fifty people and they all lost. No, one of the Paul Con- brothers fought Mayweather. No, they didn't. No, who fought Mayweather last when he like Conor I- McGregor? Was that Conor McGregor? That was like eight years ago. No, there was a more recent one where he like took his hat off and stuff. I don't know. Either way, uh, I don't. I don't know. Um, I think they're gonna make it. A, it's just an exhibition match anyway. It's nothing crazy. Maybe they did fight. I don't know. They, I'm pretty sure they fought because I remember him like taking his hat off, and I thought it was hilarious because you got to see uh, Mayweather's hair with that. You looked. It's it's out there. Anyways, go to thecrazytown.com. Subscribe for Jonas. Uh, we would never take advantage of you, TNT. Hey, we'll use your money for good. We're out.